Now, can we do one more, but really powerfully and just belt it out? Last thing, can we try just a harmony line with that softer texture, just like a third up from what you just did? Cool, cool. Hey everyone, this is Josh from Music Marketing TV, and today we're gonna to take a look at Dreamtonic's Synthesizer V and how to choose the perfect voice for your project. Synthesizer V is a remarkable AI vocal synthesizer that creates realistic vocals just by using a keyboard, a mouse, and your computer. Whether you're a beginner or just checking out Synthesizer V for the first time, this tutorial will help you get started quickly. So let's dive in. So just getting started, I'm gonna open up Synthesizer V here and you'll see a workspace that looks something similar to this. Uh, this is the plugin version of Synthesizer V. Uh, now to choose a voice, the most important thing you need to find is your voice database. Uh, Synthesizer V has a variety of different vocalists and each of them have kind of a unique style and tone and character to them. Uh, so to select a new voice, you can come to your track here. I have my track number one and this menu right here where I click on no default voice shows all of the different voice databases that I have installed on my system. Now you can also access the same menu over here on the right side of the plugin where it says voice. This is the voice panel uh, and you have the same drop down menu right here with all of the voices installed on your system. And later on, you can actually also change the language of these voices that you're working with in the same voice panel but I'll close that for now. Before we get started checking out a few of the vocalists, I just wanna show you what I have going on in my project here. So I'm just working with a few uh, different MIDI tracks and some audio of some strings, and let's take a listen at, uh, to what that sounds like. Cool, uh, so I'm gonna open up Synthesizer V once more and we just learned how to uh, select a vocalist. So I'm gonna try out someone like Natalie. Natalie is known for her present but gentle vocals, something that might be really good for a pop or a ballad track. So let's see how Natalie sounds on, uh, on this music here. Tonight's the night we're taking over Into the crowd but you were gone you are the one, just come and hold me, me. Great. Now, maybe we can try out another vocalist, someone like Solaria, who tends to have a fuller and richer tone to her voice. Uh, might be good for something that's filmic or electronic, um, or maybe even like Broadway-ish. So let's, let's check out what she sounds like. Tonight's the night we're taking over Into the crowd, but you were gone You are the one, just come and hold me, me Of course, we can also check out some of the male vocalists that we have in Synthesizer V. One of my favorites is uh, Hayden. Hayden tends to have a full voice, but also kind of raspy, maybe bluesy sound. Um, so let's see how he, he sounds on this track that we've got going. Tonight's the night we're taking over Into the crowd, but you were gone You are the one, just come and hold me Now you'll notice that each time I select a new voice from my database, this piano roll down here updates the waveform based on the new vocalist that I've selected. So for example, if I go back to Natalie, if you watch under here, the waveform starts to update telling me that it's ready to play back and that it's adjusted for the new singer. But I didn't have to change anything else in my Synthesizer V project or in my digital audio workstation. Let's check out one or two more singers just to get a variety of taste from the different singers that we have available in Synthesizer V. So one of my other favorites is Sheena. Tonight's the night we're taking over Into the crowd but you were gone You are the one, just come and hold me, me. 
awesome. Uh, maybe let's check out one more. Let's try Kevin. Kevin's also known for kind of a big Broadway, maybe bombastic uh, male voice. So let's see what let's see what he sounds like here. Tonight's the night we're taking over into the crowd, but you were gone. You are the one, just come and hold me, me. Awesome. Now you can see that each time I select a new voice, I just come to this drop down menu, make a decision, and Synthesizer V loads it and keeps everything else intact. You'll notice that some of the inflections of the pitch, uh, of the style, change because we're changing the singer, but nothing else is changing. The words aren't changing um, in my Synthesizer V project, which is really great because everything stays intact just the way that I had it programmed before. Um, and this is this is really helpful because I come back at any time and decide to change my singer without having to redo anything else. Going back to the voice database list that I have installed on my system, uh, the Dream Tonics Synthesizer V team offer many more voice banks that are available for purchase or download to kind of expand your collection uh, on their website. And this gives you a lot more creative freedom with you know whatever the music is that you might be working with. Uh, whether you're kind of after something soft or emotional or strong and, and bombastic and bold, uh, there's definitely something uh, for every you know project that you're working with, and there's ways to manipulate them, which we'll take a look at in later videos. Um, and if you're curious about expanding your library, just head over to the uh, Dream Tonic Synthesizer V website, where you can find both free and premium voices to hear different samples of them. Selecting your voice in Synthesizer V is super easy and it's super flexible to change them around and audition one from the other. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, to hear more about Dreamtonic's Synthesizer V and more from Music Marketing TV. Into the crowd, but you were gone. You are the one, just come and hold.